second annual uh, cook-off here at the church in Chelsea. We have Councilor Lars Leah Robertson. What do you make for, for your meal, Leah? Pasta, making pasta and making uh, chicken pot with a nice homemade sauce, done from scratch. And right. you, who's your challenger, though? Some guy named Calvin Brown. <laughs> Calvin T. Brown. The other counselors will be cooking also. So I guess he already brought in his, his soul food uh, entree of uh, black eyed peas and collard greens and fried chicken, potato salad that his mom uh, made and everything. So it's all here. But yeah, we're, we're so happy to, for the second annual cook off challenge that's going on for Black History Month. And uh, hey, we got a lot of events going on, so stay tuned for more. Right now, I'm, I'm just ready to eat. Hey, right, Leo? Yeah, you got it, baby. The council can do all this. Plus, be a, a good council to see the jump in the state. Yeah. You know it. And also, we have uh, the CBC uh, president, Joan Cromwell. She's making her like on rice. And she has some pollo. Arroz y pollo. From the council president, Joan Cromwell. I would open it up, but I know if I open this, this up right now, she would kill me. So, uh, keeping it low on there. But yeah, a lot of good things. Pastor, you have anything to say? Uh, yes, uh, really happy that you guys are here and uh, and uh, you guys welcome anytime uh, you want to cook. And I, I, I'm glad to see him cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Very talented council we have. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunate to have a council that knows how to do everything. Cook and eat. Yeah. Walk and talk. Yeah. See, you know, if you put the sauce in the bottom of the pan, it doesn't stick. The pasta doesn't stick. You got it, brother. See, I learned that from, you know, the old time. Julius, you know, Julius, what's her name? Julius Chai. Yeah, Bless her soul. Yeah. She told, she taught me that. Yeah. That's how old I am. 1978. Keep track of the time. Keep track of the time, guys. We try to make sure that the pasta is al dente, not al sauce. Yeah. We should peek up the rice a little bit. Just look at it and see what it looks like. See the bubble? Smells good. Looks good. Wish we had snow vision, right, Ricky? Uh, okay. Chelsea residents, I mean, this is a good thing that we do. Uh, the Light of Rice. Uh, the name of the church is the Light of Rice. I think everybody knows uh, Iglesia Luz de Cristo in Spanish. And also right here is uh, the Chelsea Resource Center. Yeah. So once again, we're here, we're trying to cook it, we're going to feed everybody who comes down, so we're here from uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Taste some good food. Good food, good company. Six more minutes. We're doing a countdown for the pasta right now. We've got like another six minutes before it's al dente. My stomach is saying, let's do it now, but Councilor Robinson has said, give me, give me a count. Ten minutes. Look at the bubbly of that. Chicken palm. Looks good. Smells great. Can't wait to get in my bill. You make myself feel even better. Happy, happy. Uh, no, 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 no. It goes up. Fresh mozzarella. So we paid 32, we paid 3400 back then, two years ago. Yeah, so, now, so we're, so it's worth 3200 now. But you Thank you. Welcome here for African American CBC Black History Month celebration. Today we're here with Team Brown to um, talk about some of the foods that was presented and made for this special occasion. Um, we are grateful to have a lot of support from our community and our residents. I um, want to introduce you Team Brown. Uh, my mother, uh, my dear friend for over 25 years of um, friendship here in the city of Chelsea, Ms. Ula Balloon. Uh, my good friend Beverly Martin Ross. Um, and my sister Perry Brown. So um, we have put together some food that we think will be historically um, appetizing for our body 
in our soul, in our mind, and we just hope that when folks come in and we start serving, that this food would also be appetizing to them. So I want to ask my mom if she can talk about some of the stuff she made and, and why she made it. Well, <laughs> I was asked. <laughs> right? We were asked. We were asked. And I always try to do my best. And I put together some cornbread. I thought that would be exciting for black history. Uh, back in the days, I, my mom used to have cornbread on the table at all times. And I made some black eyed peas and ham hocks. Oh, Lord. And I threw a couple of okra in them. Oh, I love them with the okra. <laughs> That's the only way I eat black eyed peas. That's right. Yeah, and then I, I just felt like cooking, and I fried up a little chicken, and I thought that would go along with a southern dinner. And I went on down, and I made some yams. Candy yams, by the way, those are my favorite. <laughs> I made some yams, and I cooked some cabbage. So I hey, thought of this the whole thing. It stopped me off the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I I was happy about doing it. I love cooking. Cooking is one of my yeah, one of favorite. And I got my sister here also. My sister helped out on some delicious food, and yeah. obviously um, she lives in the same household, different floor from my mom. So I know she helped my mom. So I wanted you know publicly to say thank you to both of them. And you can tell us what you did. So the only thing I did, because my mom was doing so much, which my brother didn't ask me, but um, I did make some potato salad. So I had to put a, I had to do something. So I made a pan of potato salad. What? I had to do a lot of cutting up. And I got so, so, so there's a little more history with the friendship and the fellowship that we have with the CBC. I know that um, one of my dear friends, Beverly Ross Martin, she always, whatever event we try to get out and have, she always recommends the potato salad, so it became a favorite of the event. So, you know, in, in spirit of friendship with Beverly, we always try to bring this to her because we know her and her family enjoys it, so we enjoy it also. And, and Ricky, we're going to have to take a quick break, I hope, because... Um, we got some more food that yes. we would like to talk to you about, but that's in the kitchen. That's something that I personally made today. Um, it's on the stove and also my neighbor, Ula, um, right? Eula. Eula, I'm sorry. Eula. Okay, so this is one of my specialties that I made today for this uh, historic event for the CBC. It's um, a favorite dish that I like. It's green beans and turkey bacon. It's really tasty. Uh, it's took put a lot of love and a lot of passion into making it and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. Okay. And now you can talk about your green, your collard greens. Okay. I made the collard greens and the smoked turkey. Ooh, I love it. And you have to cut them up real fine because I don't like the stem on them. So they're very delicious. And they are the southern style collard greens. All right, so here, welcome back to our second annual cook-off, counselor's cook-off. So um, don't mind me in the kitchen at all, because this is totally Counselor Robinson and Counselor Brown's gig. But I just wanted to add a little bit of brown sugar. And we have arroz con candules. <laughs> and um, this is my sister Beverly, part of CBC. And I just wanted to add to counselor's excellent dishes of yes. chicken palm and, and um, soul food yes. and pasta and homemade sauce that Councilor Robinson has been up all, all night, night long <laughs> cooking. So a little arroz con, dules, arroz con candules because we are in Chelsea and we are a diverse community. Yes. So we got a little soul, we have a little Latin, we have a little Italian. We're at La Luz de Cristo Church and we're here to serve the community today. So, delicious, excellent, <laughs> wonderful. wonderful. Go out, you all see right. the table. Good food, you're, you're all exactly. welcome. We're just trying to keep it warm, baby. That's the pasta, it's already.
chicken palm is on it out there and over here. Got to find a spot out there for this. and all the wonderful programming they do and they put on in the city for the month of February. We're here at the cook-off at La Luz de Cristo between Councilor Robinson and Calvin Brown. I heard Robinson is doing Italian food and Calvin is doing soul food, seeing that it is Black History Month. I have to say I'm a little impartial. Nonetheless, I wish them both a lot of support. Thank you to the CBC for all the work that they do. You should come here and join us and make sure, if you don't make it this year, next year.
Chelsea Black community. We would like to say welcome to everyone here. I know it was a task getting here in the snow, but we're here. We got some great food, which is a dinner with the community. And we're so thankful um, for um, La Luz de Cristo Church and opening, opening their doors to the community today. And uh, we just want to, um, you know, all join together as a community, have delicious food, because this is a counselor's cook-off. So, Councilor Brown and Co Councilor Robinson was up all night. On weeks in advance, yeah. they had their team here, so this is a serious to do. So, Councillor Robinson blessed us with chicken parmesan and um, a delicious sauce and um, some um, linguine to go with it. And then, Councillor Brown gave us a little bit of soul food in terms of collard greens and baked macaroni and cheese and barbecue chicken. We got a little Spanish food, we have a little Latino because Chelsea's made up of us all. There's uh, blacks, there's Latinos, there's Asians, there's Italians, so we're just a melting pot. Yeah. So we have some arroz con candules, um, some tacos. So yeah, give yourselves a hand. I know y'all are pretty hungry, so we want to get that going. And we want to ask um, Pastor to bless the food and open his home, his doors to us. Amen. Yes, uh, I thank the Lord and I thank uh, all the people that uh, participate in uh, uh, getting all this ready. So, Lord, at this moment, Lord, we got together as a family, Lord. Yes. As one. And we thank you, Lord, because everybody put a little bit of uh, themselves uh, to, to put this plate together, Lord. Bless the food. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I'll buy pasta salad because I eat salad all week long. Congressman Presley is here, the famous Congressman Presley. How's it feel to be in Chelsea and supporting this community here? And I know you do so much work for all types of charities and organizations. Yeah, well, um, um, it feels good to be back in Chelsea, and I, I'm so proud of uh, this community, which is a diverse and close-knit community, uh, really the embodiment of, uh, of love. Always showing love to one another. This is just one example. Uh, I was in Washington, D.C. when 500 people from Massachusetts last week uh, protesting in support of TPS uh, holders getting a pathway to residency and citizenship. And there was a large contingent from Chelsea that was there. Uh, no surprise, you know, at all. Chelsea's on the forefront of activism around so many issues. Um, and so I'm just happy to be here today, um, just in community and uh, breaking bread and in fellowship. Which I think is so important, especially in the times we find ourselves in, where there's a lot of, of hateful rhetoric and division and just uh, uh, vitriol and polarization. And so it's important that we come together and, uh, and support each other in community. 
after an only overwhelming victory in November. How was your first six weeks in office? Been, has it been exciting, enlightening? How's it going, Congressman? It's, it's been humbling. I have to say that I'm very proud to represent Chelsea and um, the community has embraced me with open arms. And as proud as I am to represent Chelsea, I hope that Chelsea will uh, one day be just as proud to have me representing it. And so I plan on continuing to be uh, in community just as I was when we were campaigning, um, you know, at, at rallies, at community meetings, um, at faith houses, um, you know, in places like this, doing community service. Today is President's Day, and so we've been doing a day of action throughout the Massachusetts 7th, and so this is our last stop uh, today. But I would say that um, we find ourselves in really unprecedented times, and those unprecedented times when the country is so divided really do require unprecedented organizing, unprecedented community building, and unprecedented hope. And so I find all of that here in Chelsea, and that's why I wanted to finish my day here. Okay, thank you for being here. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. You're going to get tired of seeing me. <laughs> well, you're my congressman. It's great to see you. I'm a Chelsea resident. It's great to have you. All right, great. I'm happy to be here. Thank you.